Hello, welcome to the Coffee Break Club again. Now the question asked, was Cleopatra really black? And the answer is yes. I'm going to tell you why. You see, um, a lot of people uh, argue that uh, Cleopatra wasn't even Egyptian because uh, that you know she was descended uh, from the uh, Greek Ptolemaeans. And this, this is because back in uh, 323 BC, the uh, conqueror by the name of Alexander conquered Egypt. And to uh, show his appreciation to uh, one of his generals who helped him do it, he gave uh, the general Egypt. Now, the general's name was Ptolemy. And Cleopatra was a descendant of uh, the, this Ptolemy. Now, um, the thing about uh, Ptolemy and Alexander was that neither of them were Greek. They came from Macedonia. Uh, but the father of uh, Alexander, uh, Philip the Barbarian, was once captured by the Greeks during one of his uh, war campaigns. And he was so impressed by their culture that he uh, went back and he told his son that these Greeks are the greatest thing not since sliced bread, because sliced bread hadn't been invented yet. But uh, anyway, he, uh, he, made, he impressed uh, Alexander to such a point that Alexander was determined to spread the Greek culture to all the countries that he conquered. And uh, he liked to think of himself as Greek. So even though Cleopatra was uh, a Macedonian, we can, uh, you know, call her Greek because um, Alexander uh, liked to think of himself that way, too. So, if she was uh, Greek, how, how could she be black? Here's how. Her father, and no one can really be sure exactly uh, who her uh, father really was. Some say that uh, it, was, it was Ptolemy the Ninth. Some say it was Ptolemy the Twelfth. But uh, the truth is that the, uh, he was a Ptolemy nonetheless, and she was a descendant of the Ptolemies. Now, even though the uh, historians can't agree as to uh, who her, you know, which Ptolemy was really a father, they all agree that uh, both uh, Ptolemies, in fact, all the Ptolemies had Negro features. And this was because uh, Alexander, uh, after he conquered a country, encouraged intermarriage among his people and the uh, conquered people so as to um, give them, uh, the conquered people, a feeling that uh, they really belong to his empire. So, yes, uh, Cleopatra was um, Macedonian, but she was also black, just as the uh, great, uh, you know, um, Baseball catcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers, Roy Campanella, was both Italian, Italian and black. So, yes, uh, Cleopatra was black, and uh, we can't deny that. And yeah, even though you know, she wasn't Greek, I also have to add that uh, she also really wasn't Cleopatra. You see, Cleopatra is not a name; it's a title, sort of like a queen or empress. Cleopatra's real name was Philopador, and she was a Cleopatra because, as they say, a Cleopatra uh, was a queen of Egypt. And she wasn't the, even the original Cleopatra because uh, she was, I think, the seventh Cleopatra of Egypt. Now, Cleop Cleopatra um, was noted mostly for her charm and rather than her uh, looks. In fact, uh, Ripley says that she was kind of fat, but she was a very intelligent woman, uh, fluent in more than seven languages, and she kept her country going when it was way past its military prime by playing one Roman leader against the other, using her guile. Yeah, until at last, uh, along came Octavian Caesar, who decided to prove to everybody that he was the real rule of Egypt by ordering Cleopatra brought back to Rome in chains. Now, Cleopatra kept a uh, pet adder, which is a very poisonous snake, as a pet for just such an occasion, in case it did arise. And she let the adder bite her in the breast before she was going to let Octavian Caesar put her in chains. 
So, yeah, you could say that uh, her life ended in a failure and she can take her place in line along with the rest of us. But while she was alive and while she was uh, running the show, it was one of the longest uh, running off-Broadway off productions in the history of the world. School's out.